I'm testing out my brand new microphone here, so hopefully I sound good because your boy got a blue Yeti for Christmas. I love this microphone. It sounds really good, at least in my testing so far. But Infinite Forbidden just got revealed. You know what that means? We have an infinite chub in our pants. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Let's see how this sounds with a new microphone. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroyed the ever living boo boo brown stain. That looks so weird from this angle. Off of that like and subscribe button as we climb even higher the 1300 ladder. That has been the best Christmas gift that a Yugi tuber could be asking for. Watching my sub count go all the way to the moon. It does look really weird because you can't see the bluetooth microphone if i can get it on camera yeah right there uh so it looks very strange from that angle if you catch my drift so i know i'm sorry if i'm talking kind of weird i've got a massive canker sore on the inside of my mouth uh and it really hurts so yeah i'm gonna probably be blah, 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 talking like a baby throughout this whole video but enough rambling we got to talk about infinite forbidden so Infinite Forbidden just got revealed on YGL Organization by Konami by extension. Infinite Forbidden is the first course set for the OCG, right? So keep that in mind. This is our technically next, next core booster set. So this is going to be after Legacy of Destruction. So we're not getting this set for at least eight or nine months, and we probably won't see any card reveals in the set for at least a couple weeks. We don't know what the card art is on the front of the pack. We don't know artwork. We, we don't know anything about this set other than when it's coming out in the OCG and the name. But the name is telling me something big. Exodia support. Think about it. Infinite Forbidden. What, what else could it mean? Phantom Nightmare. We thought, okay, Phantom Darkness came out in the early 2000s. Maybe they're going to uh, give some retrains to cartons that came out of that set. And what happened? We got brand new U-Bell stuff that came out originally in Phantom Darkness. Legacy of Destruction. We thought, okay, Blue Eyes. It's an engine of destruction. Virtually Invincible. We got the new Blue Eyes Fusion Monster. This canker sore really hurts. I'm sorry if I'm drooling. Uh, that's that's an image. But Infinite Forbidden can mean a lot of things. I'm sure some people are going to get cute and be like, oh, you know, Infinite Impermanence uh, Retrain or Infinite Impermanence Search Cards. I did also post on my community post to let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully by the time I get to editing this video, I'll include some on screen. But if not, then whatever. But Infinite Forbidden, I'm thinking Exodia Support. We could also see, however, I think it was the Condemned Witch or something that said you can search a Forbidden card from your deck to your hand, a spell or trap, so like you could search droplets and things like that. Maybe we see more spells and traps like that in the Forbidden uh, archetype-esque of cards, like we have Forbidden Lance, Forbidden Droplets, maybe we see more things like that. But like I said, maybe we see Exodia support. Maybe we finally see Exodia get turned into a full-fledged archetype. Now, this is something I also thought about should they retrain the Exodia Vanilla Monsters? And I don't think that they should just because of the fact that I feel like that would kind of throw shade on the original cards. Like it would kind of diminish their uh, quality and their history and things like that. I don't think that as nice as it would be to have retrains of the Vanilla Exodia pieces, I don't think that they're going to do that if we even get any Exodia support at all. But it's been years since we've gotten Exodia support. Like, I think it was out of the Yugi's Legendary decks that we last got support. Because we got the Trap Card Obliterate. We got the Legendary Exodia Incarnate. Um, but, like, other than that, we haven't received a whole lot of support. Now, what if they do retrains of banned cards like Graceful Charity and Pot Agreed, but they make it specifically to Exodia support? Now, I'm sure some of you are going to say, well, Avery, if they just make the new Exodia archetype in theory, like a deep draw deck, like, you know, deep draw Exodia and stuff, it's just going to lose to Shifter and Droll. And Dark World loses to Shifter and Droll. People still play that garbage deck. I'm not saying that the deck has to be Rogue or even Tier 1 or something, but at least make it playable in what is now soon to be 2024 Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, like Jeff Leonard did his little FTK shenanigan thing, but then once people figured out how it worked, he lost four matches in a row. So, like, it's not difficult to beat, right? But... They shouldn't make the deck like an FTK type of deck, right? But 
they should definitely like you know give them a stratos that searches an exodia piece or something or draws them a card like the problem with exodia right now inherently is the exodia pieces themselves like that's why you always have to play as a deep draw deck or as like a stall deck like when we had mystic mind legal you could play mystic mind play field barrier and hope that you drew into the five pieces and so inherently they have to figure out a way to make the exodia pieces not be bricks like if you open up three of the vanillas and like two other cards like you're probably losing the game because yeah you got three pieces of exodia but those vanillas are bricks if you can't get them out of your hand with like hand destruction and then get them back with dark factor mass production so they need more cards like that or even retrains of old cards that people used to play in exodia decks so like pay homage to like the old school cards but then have them be retrained as exodia cards i think that would be really cool even if they gave them cards that had the name forbidden in their name and they were spells or traps and you could search them off of like the condemned dark witch or whatever that searches you a forbidden spell or trap i also thought too that maybe they could do dark lord support because i think for a while people were mixing like the condemned dark witch searching forbidden spells and traps with the dark lord since dark lords draw you a bunch of cards uh not dark world dark lords like the prize cards and then you could like search droplets and things like that and play it in dark lord um, but I don't know if they're going to do that. I mean, hell, I could be totally wrong and they just don't even give us Exodia support at all, but I would love to see Exodia be turned into a fully fledged archetype. Like that is definitely something that would sell a set. Like if Konami, even if like they wanted to like throw in OCG imports, like we still have not gotten true Exodia, which for those of you who don't know what true Exodia does, it was a card design well drawn by Kazuki Takahashi, God rest his soul uh but its effect is just a troll it's like if you have this card on the field with like i think four of the forbidden one normal monsters then your opponent wins the duel so people would try and be cute on like simulators and uh put the true exodia with four vanillas on their board the four vanilla pieces and then therefore you win the duel but like that's not gonna be very good but they could throw stuff in there as like a joke quarter century secret rare and like you know there you go there's a quarter century that people will just gobble up again though if you make exodia into like a fully fledged decent rogue archetype that's gonna sell like whether it's a collector a casual even to a degree competitive players if like a mini exodia engine is generic enough as like a draw engine then you know people are gonna play it also too upstart goblin is at three again i know that draw lot bird is a card but what if that's why they put upstart at three because we're going to get infinite forbidden which has exodia support therefore you're playing a 37 card exodia deck i'm not saying that that's good but there might be something there but that's just my first initial thoughts again we're not going to be getting this set for probably like eight or nine months um but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below let me know how my blue yeti microphone sounds if it even sounds good at all. Obviously, I'm using my webcam video. But anyway, let me know about all that and more, guys. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video.